Hello, Tanya here with Cole House Arts and Crafts. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video. Um, so I've got this little picture frame thing here. And I've got this, uh, I believe it's 11 by 14 canvas. You can see I use little red cups. Kind of like a, a double decker pour. I figure I'm going to pour on the picture frame with part of the overflow anyway hitting the canvas and just kind of see what happens um, with the uh, acrylic paint pouring challenge group that I'm in on Facebook we have a three out of ten color challenge the three colors are light purple light yellow and dark pink so the light purple I have Decolart Extreme Sheen Lavender Frost Light yellow, I have Artist Loft Metallic Lemon Yellow. Dark pink. And I hope this is okay. But it's a Master's Touch Rogue. And we're allowed to add in black, white, or metallics. And so I was thinking I was just going to add in some Decor Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. I'm still on the fence about adding white to it. Maybe just a little bit. I have some Artist Loft Low White hair. So I haven't um, planned this out too well. I know I don't have a lot of this ah, purple color. So I have to keep that in mind. So I was just going to kind of do kind of a ring pour maybe flip cup's not gonna work because it's all gonna go straight through onto the canvas so start with the rogue a little bit of a flow white into the what did i say it was metallic lemon yeah metallic lemon yellow and then a little bit of gold there. And then the lavender frost. Okay. And without being all mathy about things. I think I need probably about three quarters of a of a little cup here. So I'm gonna do a few layers. I have so so much yellow mixed up. So we had a, a yellow versus purples challenge. So I mixed up a bunch of purples and a bunch of yellows and I ended up entering, I think I did enter yellow, but I don't, I don't use a whole lot of yellow. I do like it in paintings. I don't like it as a color really outside of art too much. But I actually like the way it looks on paintings. But anyway, I have a whole lot of it mixed up. So I haven't used it. I haven't used very much of it. I can't say the same about the purple. I've used a lot of the purple. I use a lot of purples and pinks and um, blues and greens. I especially like doing like a light purple and a dark purple in the same pour. Same way with the blues and pink, like the light pink and the dark pink. So yesterday I was forcing myself to use a bunch of yellow and the 
couldn't end up getting really good results that I like. So then I was like, okay, I'm just going to swipe it. I'm not a great swiper, but I ended up with a pretty cool swipe. Very heavy handed, so I can't swipe with swiping tools, although I have this one. It's kind of cool, but um, I always just have to use paper towel. It seems to be what works for me. So here is the pretty, pretty cup. So pretty. surface here. this rate I might not have enough paint so I finally got a little mirror thingy let's see yeah the back side of that is not Oop, not getting covered too well I'm not Get it using the mirror yet to figure out where I need to pour. <laughs> ah! There's a bunch of paint down there on the canvas. I'm just trying to get it to stay on the canvas and not just run off. Uh oh. Boom, 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 boom. now. Well, mostly covered. Let's do this little tab right here, maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's come over to this side. how this is going to turn out overall. I'll tell you, I like pouring these colors. I should have turned down the television in the background. <clears throat> My friends Tiggy and Pooh were playing very loudly. some crazy pretty cells right here. Let's see if we can get some sort of shoveling tool here. What if I should do that over here? Shovel 
some of the paint that's on the frame. You never know what I'm going to do. I never know what I'm going to do. So these colors have mixed. That's like a peachish orangish color now. Come on, paper towel. I definitely don't have very much paint left in the cup. Knocking the frame right off the canvas. Okay. Guess we're adding some more paint. I really like parts of this. I should have left the paints in the order um, that I put them in the cup. Guess it doesn't matter too much. USP white. I don't know. Yellow, gold, purple, maybe. Oh no, don't go in there, Globby. There we go, now I'm getting messy with it. This will be enough to finish it. Let's find out. How's the inside edge? Ugh. But missing a lot of the inside edge.
Let it rain. Ew. Hmm. Perhaps that was not a good idea. Because although this middle is so pretty, nice and pretty, that top just went mud. Meanwhile, how oh, still not good. I was hoping by tilting around I'd uh, end up covering where the paint's still missing. Turns out I kind of just made it a mess. Oh, and those pretty cells I had went bye bye. I forgot about them. Well, it is what it is, and there it is. Um, and the canvas underneath. I do knew. Definitely doesn't look very pretty. Very colorful. Yes, pretty. Meh. Not so much. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it there. Actually, let me torch this first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call this. Thanks for hanging out.